going on, y'all? Welcome back to another Eastern Maryland Unity Retro Bowl series. Y'all, in today's episode, we're going to be playing the Mascot University Eagles. I'm going to start the able to record the rice game. So, that was. So, that might be a little bit of a problem. But, you do see, or want to know on the year, on the roster right now, after. First game is uh, Danny has the most upside and the highest speed rating out of all the players on the team. Very gonna boost his morale so he'll play a little bit better. So let's get into today's game. Now mascot is going to kick it off. And there goes Kitchy. He's running the juke. Stiff arm. He's going. He's down the sideline at the 40. 45. 50. 45. 40. 35. 30. 25. 20. 15, 10, nobody's gonna catch him. Touch down, Pirates. So let's get a look at the replay. So you can see at the bottom of the screen, it says we're on dynamic. We're gonna play on dynamic until the end of the year where we're gonna move it up to medium. So as the series progresses, we're gonna play on different difficulties. We're gonna get the two point conversion. Looks like mascot U's gonna score. They are gonna get the two points. So we're back to receive the kick. We think Kitchy is gonna be able to have some more return magic. Let's hope he can score another touchdown. He's gonna get out of bounds around the 34 yard line. And there's Malcolm Lewis for the 10 yard gain. Second in inches. The run to Marpet, and that's a first down. Looks like we're gonna run with McRae. He's gonna slide down for about eight yards there. I'm gonna last play of the first quarter. This is the last play of the first quarter will be a first down to Malcolm Lewis. So to end the first quarter, the score is mascot U8, EMU8. Gerald Jarwin is running. That's going to be a 41-yard touchdown. As the Pirates are going to take the two-point conversion. And they're going to run it in with McRae. Ray's gonna take and run it himself after some pressure and get five yards. We have one minute and three seconds left in the second quarter. And he was up in Deidre Market Market breaking two tackles. Twenty four yard gain. There's Malcolm Lewis after the catch. He's gonna get seventeen yards. And there goes DJ Marpet, four yard gain. Malcolm Lewis is gonna keep running. 17 yards that are down around the nine yard line. So this Pirates team is going to kick a field goal. That is good. The 20 yard gain by Malcolm Lewis coming out of the first half. 
comeback route to Gerald Darwin. It's going to be out of bounds. McRae, he's going to scramble up the middle and get four yards. Is the run in that is two yards for, De for Deidre and Marpet. He's going to break one tackle, get three yards. Nice. Deidre Marpet on the run. Malcolm Lewis, the big catch for a touchdown, 18-yard touchdown. So the score is now 26 to 8. The Pirates are in the lead. Slant route will be completed for a touchdown to Gerald Jarwin. That's his second of the game, and that's a 20-yard touchdown. Two-point attempt is good. Deidre Marpet with a two-point attempt. So Mascot U is going to score at the end of this game. Here's Kitchy on the turn. He's only going to get down to the 20-yard line. 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter. This game is just about over. It's been a great game for both teams. EMU has dominated this game. And there goes DJ Marpet again. Another eight yard. Another gain, eight yards. So here we are, the final 20 seconds of the game. Pass is going to be completed. Gerald Darwin with the catch. So to end the game, the final score is 34 to 15. I just just to let you guys know, I did change the conferences. So we have an NCAA conference and a BCS conference. Boy, BCS and a and our offensive lineman, Adrian Tuttle, is gonna get an upgrade. In week three here, we're going to play Miami. We are second right now in the ACC ranking. Miami is last. We are going to extend. We're thinking about extending Jalen Kelsey, our, our defensive coordinator. We are going to extend Nats and our offensive coordinator. There are the different jerseys Miami has. They are going to be wearing their signature home jerseys. We're going to strike first as East Maryland is back to receive the kick. He's going to take it out from deep in the end zone. He's going to make it down at the 24 to 25 yard line. There's Malcolm Lewis. The big gain. 21 yards to start off this Pirates drive. That's a catch by Gerald Drawing. 15 yards. Pass is incomplete by McRae. The pressure got to him. As McRae is going to scramble. Only get three yards. Third and seven. 28 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass gets caught by Malcolm Lewis, and that's going to be 20 yards. So the Pirates are putting together a good drive. Driving down the field. Getting nine yards. DJ to Marpet on the run. And there goes McRae to Jarwin. Again for a touchdown. To end the first quarter, the score is EMU 8, Miami 7.
my enemy is going to miss a field goal. So on the Pirates, second drive, they're going to start it off with a 17-yard pass gain. Pass goes to the tight end. Two in a row. Two passes in a row. They're going to go to the tight end. Deidre Marper is going to break two tackles. He's going to get out of bounds for eight yards. Yeah, as McRae is just going to run. He's going to get nine yards picking up that first down. The Pirates don't have a lot of time, only 18 seconds, but they do have all three timeouts. They're going to go for the field goal. It is good off of a doink by Membane. So going in the half, Pirates have the lead 11 to 7 as we start the third quarter here. It's going to be around the 23 yard line to start this first Pirates drive of the second half. Deidre Marpet's going to get out of the backfield, pick up 13 yards. There's going to be a deep pass to Jarwin. Jarwin is going. Nobody is going to catch him. He is going to score. That's a Pirates touchdown. 64 yards. Setting a new school record for the longest touchdown pass in school history. That's going to be a touchdown by the Hurricanes, so they're going to pick up a touchdown. Now Kitty back to return. Hasn't done too much this game. He gets down to the 24-yard line. There's going to be a comeback route. Mark as Darwin. Nick Ray and Jarwin hit up for another connection this season. Ms. Jarwin again, six yards from a pass play to just about end the third quarter. And there goes Mick Ray getting out of bounds, getting a first down on the final play of the third quarter. Gonna slide down. Get five yards. That's going to be a touchdown. Gerald Jarwin. Field goal will be good. So the score is EMU 26, Miami 14. An 11 yard pass gain. So that's going to do it. That's going to end the game on a 21-yard gain by the Pirates. And so the final score was Eastern Maryland 26, Miami 14. So that's how we're going to end week three. Hope you guys enjoyed this game, this gameplay. Um, if you did hear anything in the background, that was thunder. Um, And so this next week, we're going to be playing Oregon. In Georgia, we might play the team we have next after that. I hope you'll have, you all have a great, great day and enjoy the series.